I never wear a condom unless the girl asks me to. But you'd be surprised how rarely they can get the ball gag out of their mouths. <laughs> Unprotected sex is risky, but I like to gamble and I don't have any money, so what are you gonna do? Uh, it's kind of like craps, right? Um, I did turn up on Lucky once, I knocked up a chick. But here's the thing, I don't know my kid. I outsource that. I, I just write a check every month, so I'll, I'll never. And it's, it's fair, it works out because it's a little girl. And I figure, I've enjoyed young women with daddy issues for so many years, it's the least I can do to make one and give it back to the world. I mean, that's it's only fair. It's paying it forward. Lots of guys will thank me for that later. I used to be really fat, and every single time I got laid, I thanked an absentee father. <laughs> Daddy issues is how you get fucked over 250 pounds. <laughs> Bigger guys, though, I want you to know, Matt, you're talking about being out of shape. Don't lose the weight, man. Don't do it. I tell you, I, I lost the weight, and it was a horrible idea. It's because when you're a fat man, you have this future fantasy land. That one day when I finally get in shape, it's like, yeah, then my life won't suck so bad. Yeah, then, then chicks will fuck me, sure, yeah. You don't want to lose the weight and then realize that your life's still horrible. You're, you're still unemployed. You still have a shitty personality. Still got herpes. It's... There are some things you can't burn off on a Stairmaster, and it sucks to confront those unchangeable realities. That's all I'm saying. Just keep one thing that you could fix if you wanted to. <laughs> I never had a fetish because I just never had the requisite trauma. But uh, it, it, until I, I was trying to figure out what it would be, and then I, I had this experience where I dropped a flaming marshmallow in my cock. It was horrible. It was, uh, you know, I mean paint that picture. I, I was for breakfast. I, I thought I was a genius. I'm, I'm eating a roasted marshmallow in the house. I'm like, oh, this is great. And then, of course, as, as I'm ready to blow out this flaming ball of high fructose corn syrup, I noticed the toothpick I'd used is burning through, of course, because they do that. And I had neglected to put pants on that day. So here's a flaming meteor fucking awesomeness just splash. Like, it was brutal. It was still on fire when it hit, so it was like burned hair and the fucking marshmallow kind of singed into the scrotum. It was fucking horrible. So I ran to the bathroom and I'm like under the tub scrubbing. Ah. And the water was really cold and the burns were really hot. It felt kind of good. And I came. <laughs> So, autoerotic immolation, apparently? That's what I'm stuck with? What the fuck? That sucks. That's my fetish. That's great. I, every, every time I hear a big flick, I get a boner. I, uh, I gotta jack off with Icy Hot just so I can come. I can never sit around a campfire with my nephew again. Never. That is completely inappropriate from here forward. It's fucked up. <laughs> <sighs> my relationship is ruining my internet porn addiction. It's, I need my me time. She won't do any of those things. It's, you guys heard about double penetration? I think you can probably figure it out uh, based on that title. But it's, I hate it when guys say, dude, double penetration's gay because your balls are touching. Yeah. It's not gay because your balls are touching it. It's gay because your thighs are rubbing against your buddies and your hair kind of knots together. It like rolls up with your mutual sweat. It's gay because every time she moves her head, you're looking at your friend's O face. It's gay because you have to match rhythm. Like, at some point during this experience, you're gonna watch your friend have an orgasm. Did you think about that, huh? Did that go through your head? No, I didn't think so, right? That's why it's fucking gay. And at the point where I'm watching my buddy ejaculate into his own eyeball, I realized that balls touching anything was the least gay part of that entire experience. I'm just saying, some things look like a better idea on a 3x5 screen on a laptop. So be careful. Forewarned. Alright, thanks guys. I'm Mike Long.